Hey folks, thanks for listening. Um, one thing I'm adding in, uh, it may look a little bit different, I apologize for that, is the, uh, the video that I created uh, for this application is, is going to be included in um, following this little uh, insert. Um, where the application comes from, um, we were talking with, was talking with some folks and kind of got a little jealous back in the springtime when Yahoo announced uh, that they were going to, uh, you know, I'm sorry, not they were going to, but they had offered uh, $125 million. Actually, Yahoo didn't announce that. Um, that was a word on the street. They had offered Foursquare $125 million in cash. And I was like, hey, I've, I've been in that space. I know some stuff about that space. I know some stuff that the, none of those guys are doing. So, needless to say, I was a little bit jealous, so I worked pretty hard on this, and this was actually a mock-up that I had created. Unfortunately, um, you know, I started hearing the rumbles about, well, there's this Facebook places coming down the road, and, you know, needless to say, that died a horrific death. But anyway, just thought I would show this out there uh, to some folks. Um, you know, hey, you got some money, uh, you got an idea, in geolocation, you want to use us for something, let's definitely talk and get a hold of me because uh, i got a lot of knowledge in that space. Anyway, here's the video, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. Take care. So here's a, a quick example of my application. Uh, this is showing it running on the uh, iPhone. Uh, what I've got here, this would be the initial startup screen that a user is going to see, and they'll have some options. Uh, you know what are local um, retailers going to provide? You know where are they at? You know so they give them a list of the local places. Um, you can do I'm here, show them where I've been, um, stats. Uh, then they can also add a place. So let's just walk through on the uh, what happens with the local places. So I uh, click there, and then I get a list of here are local places and these are just showing places that are around me here in Knoxville and um, I can you know scroll through them however I want to in this case uh, I'm gonna pick the gym which is right behind me and bang here we are um, we've got a list of here's where they're at um, we can type in some stuff as to where they're at and then also We've got a um, the standard iPhone uh, buttons up here, so I could go back and I could say, okay, let's look at uh, you know where are the local places. Then I could all go all the way back to the beginning, or let's say I'm here and I can say, okay, uh, take me all the way back to the beginning. And so there's the this kind of functionality is across the spectrum, but the key in all this is. I never told the application where I was at. I literally got this information from the iPhone and then was able to get here are a series of points in the uh, local area that match these places. The idea is is that as users go around to different uh, places then they'll be able to add where they are at and then the database grows. Right now there are approximately um, I think it's 215,000 uh, places in the United States currently um, in my database, and that database is geocoded uh, so that we've got their latitude and longitude. Um, the way this works is we just do a calculation and you know give us all the places that are within a certain uh, radius from where we think we are at at this point. So. Thank you very much uh, for viewing the video.